Hey, how's it going? Our video today is titled Aripiprazole and Depression, The Right Dose. And this video is a research update. So Carlet research updates are concise, evidence-based summaries and analyses of a recent relevant paper in psychiatry. The title of the article is Optimal Dose of Aripiprazole for Augmentation Therapy of Antidepressant Refractory Depression, Preliminary Findings Based on a Systematic Review and Dose Effect Meta-Analysis. So Aripiprazole, brand name Abilify, is FDA approved for antidepressant augmentation? Even though aripiprazole is one of the best studied atypical antipsychotics for depression, practitioners haven't really nailed down what dose to prescribe. So guidelines typically recommend anywhere from two to 15 milligrams per day, but we know that higher doses bring additional risks like akathisia, sedation, and metabolic problems. So this meta-analysis was looking to find the optimal dose range. Now, if you want a helpful fact sheet on this medication, go to thecarlatreport.com slash aripiprazole. So the authors found 10 double-blinded, placebo-controlled, randomized studies where aripiprazole was added to an SSRI or SNRI in patients with treatment-resistant depression. This totaled over 2,600 patients, 55% of which were female. Some of the studies compared augmentation using a fixed dose schedule, and others allowed flexible dosing. Trials lasted six to eight weeks, and the doses ranged from 2 to 20 milligrams per day. Reduction in the Montgomery Asperger Depression Rating Scale was the main outcome measure. The main finding was that efficacy was associated with doses between 2 and 5 milligrams, with no additional benefits at higher doses. Aripiprazole 4 milligrams resulted in a 36% improvement compared to 23% on placebo. The odds ratio of response gradually increased as the dose increased from 2 milligrams to four milligrams, and then leveled off at five milligrams. So doses beyond five milligrams were decently tolerated, but they didn't add clinical benefit. Now, one limitation here is that this involved multiple studies with varied doses that were not designed to test the hypothesis that we're discussing. So it's possible that some patients will do better at higher doses, but it's difficult for us to say who they are. What's the CARLAT take here? When you're using aripiprazole for antidepressant augmentation, two to five milligrams is the ideal range. If you found this helpful, head on over to thecarlatreport.com and consider subscribing to the Carlat Psychiatry Report. Thanks for watching.